Hello to all. I hope you have all been doing great. My name is Jeanette and welcome to the channel. If you haven't been here, if you've been here, thank you for coming back. Peace and love to you as always. So just a quick video for you. I've been MIA. I'm a working woman. It literally feels like work is non-stop because motherhood is work times three. So if you're a full-time mommy and working full-time, it's just like work, 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 work. But everything in life, it, life works in phases and cycles and waves and chapters. It's all So, another reason why I have not uploaded is because sometimes there's so much that is going on that I have no clue what to talk about in the sense of like a solid subject for a video. But I thought of one for this one. So smear campaigns hmm. why would someone regret running a smear campaign on you hmm why do people run smear campaigns on you hmm reason number one to shred your character to To F up your character. This person has none. She, look at what she's done. Even if it's all lies. And many times it is just lies. You just want to protect your butt. Let me tell you a quick story. I like to speak in like metaphors with stories. So one time when I was living in Texas... I was in the far left lane and if you live in Texas or have been to Texas it's like a turning lane where it's a solid line to your right because that lane is just to turn back onto the road going the opposite direction to go like underneath the freeway so this guy that's pulling out of like an HEB H-E-B parking lot, which is a grocery store, but he tried to cut like three, four lanes all the way to the turning lane. Point is, he hit my car. He hit my right, the right side of my car. I, as a person who, what I did was I scooted up, made sure, you know, some people when they block the whole all the roads and just create a whole traffic jam i scooted up enough for the guy to get behind me i got out the car and i took a picture in that moment do that as a tip for y'all because he said he said she said that one picture saved my butt to me not being at fault why because there's a solid line on my right so he should not have been even trying to get into the lane that i was in point is this guy called his insurance first he thought if i call my insurance first that'll make it seem like i'm not at fault and she's at fault well lucky for me i had the picture but the point is how this ties to the smear campaign. Sometimes those who have done, have done dirt, have thrown dirt on your name. Those who throw dirt on people's names. It's oftentimes those who were the ones at fault in the relationship. You did me wrong. You did me grimy. But you want to run a smear campaign, run my name in the dirt because you want to look like 
a poor little innocent victim that does nothing, does no harm to anyone ever. Yet, look at your track record, but still, my hands are clean, right? So why would someone regret running a smear campaign on you? Well, they ran the smear campaign. They thought they knew your character enough to know that this person, funny enough, narcissists, they do this to the people that they know love them. I know you love me. Ha ha ha. I tried to play with the will of God by lying and deceiving you. I lied and deceived you and you fell into my loophole. You fell into my the hole in the road that I painted for you. And now you're in love. <laughs> I'm going to do, I'm going to continue doing the dirt and the grime. Oh, I, uh, what is it called? I, they discard you in a sense but in a um what is it called where even if you have to leave them you left them because they had already been discarded you you left to save your life and your soul oh but you you are the one in the wrong always you 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 will always be the one in the wrong the point is they gotta run your name in the dirt to save their butt, to save themselves from, from looking some type of way. Like, oh, why did the relationship end? Da, 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 da. Smear, 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 smear. Why? Because they're never gonna admit that they did anything wrong. Why would they? They didn't do it when you were in the relationship. Why would they do it when you're not in the relationship? But guess what? These people, they are so accustomed to you coming back. They're so accustomed to the fact of them knowing that you love them and that you are a loving person and that you have genuine love in your heart. That even if you were to come back, it's like, yeah, I, I took her back because, you know, like I said, I was in the right and she's in the wrong, but I'll, I'll give her another chance him her you know depending on your situation put yourself in the story right i'll give that person another chance because i'm just such a great person and ta 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 oh but what happens when the person that they smeared let's say it is you right they smeared your name but you grew you healed you're a better person why would you go back you know better you know better you know better you do better but oh but guess what now they're feeling they're feeling the emptiness they're feeling the void they're feeling your absence but guess what they already smeared your name they already smeared your name to their friends and family. They smeared your name to your family. So how could they bring you back? How could they bring you back even if they wanted to? They would have to come up with an, ex an explanation like, wait, didn't you say this and this and this about this person? Oh, so now you're proving that indeed you are a liar. Oh, so that's why said person left you in the first place. Oh, so you, so she was like, oh, okay. So there was a motive and a reason for that person to have left you. But then why'd you run a smear campaign, campaign on that person? Because they're trying to save their behind. Okay, so I'm in a situation in my life with many people cycles chapters the waves of life it happens and then because i'm very much about like the joint consciousness and us being here on this planet at the same time and what one person experiences in a certain moment in time 
might just be an experience that many people are going through. So right now in my life, I'm going through a, a phase where those who smeared my name want to come back. They want to come back, but they don't even know how. And then it seeps through the cracks, but they don't know how to approach the situation because it's like, I'm already in a bind because I'm going to be questioned as to why I want to have that person back in my life if I've already talked bad about them. And I'm such a holy, holy, guacamole person. And so the situation is there's people in the surrounding areas of my life that have smeared my name. Why? Because they did not want to look at themselves in the mirror to the things that they did, to how they could have been better. But now they're feeling it. They're feeling my absence. Feel it. Feel it. And live with that. And live with that. You know why? Because you didn't appreciate me when you had me in your life. So now I know what you're capable of doing. Why would I put myself in a position to be hurt again? I already know what you're capable of. See, that's the thing about ever going back to relationships or friendships. When you know what a person is capable of doing, doing, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. So don't don't act like you don't didn't know that they had the the that they were possible of doing what they've already done if that they're not possible of doing it again because they will do it again they will why because people are comfort seekers we seek comfort in our nature right so the moment they get comfortable with you again being in their lives they're going to do oh reverse discard that's what i was look the freight the wording i was looking for earlier they're going to reverse discard or just straight up discard you once again why because you're only valuable to them when you don't want them you don't want me so that's why the fickleness of the human mind the human being us as human beings we're just so fickle we want what we can't have we don't value what we do have and everything backwards love backwards is evil evil people is because they're not right in their hearts love pure straightforward love is a beautiful thing all that we see is love and when you're not right in your heart you're backwards love backwards spells evil that's why you get evil people because they're sick in their hearts you don't do evil things but you do if you're not right in your heart so that's that for this video you know what I mean? I am literally in a space in my life where there are no Fs given. I am done. I am done. I am done. I am. I don't even care if there's a bloodline relationship. It's done. I don't even care if I want to see you. You have made it clear you have made x y and z clear to me so i'm not gonna deplete my energy i'm not gonna have to armors armor myself up and put my defenses up to be around you because to be around you i have to be around this person who makes me uncomfortable and none of y'all know how to apologize for anything and all of y'all are willing to attack look when you really 
are done 1000% with whatever situations you got in your life, with whatever bothers you in your life, when you cut the last string, boop, all that you were seeking for comes to you. How is it that when I said I am done with all of you, boom, I've met some great, great people in the last couple of weeks. Because I know I have not uploaded a video in a minute. So if you came to watch this video, much love to you. I appreciate you. I have indeed been non-stop non-stop when i tell you non-stop i literally have moments in my life where i'm like the only reason why i am operating right now is because of god by the grace of god by the love of god because there is literally zero in my tank my my car should be on fire and fumes right now because there's negative nothing in my gas tank but by the grace of God I sometimes just keep going I keep going look not saying that you should operate like this in your life however speaking for myself it's a chapter of my life I have a three-year-old I'm working full-time now in something that I'm actually beyond appreciative of because of what I'm doing. I enjoy what I do. I enjoy where I'm working, all of that. I enjoy going and still being a mom and not like sleep deprivation. Oh, well, food deprivation. Sometimes you just got to eat when you can. Energy just energy depletion like i am fully depleted of my energy at times but like i said somehow some way i am still able to operate by the grace of god boom, boom, boom. with what i was saying though i have met some amazing people in my life recently and it's like okay this is a relationship I would like to cultivate. And the person on the other end wants to cultivate as well. It's like never give up on your hopes and dreams. And all that your heart desires is for you. You have everything within you to achieve all of your heart's desires. Okay? In my opinion in my opinion so to the boohoo's people who smeared my name and now can't figure out how to fit me back into their life granted i'm the type i have endless forgiveness in me why because that's that's kind of like our obligation we must forgive however forgiveness does not mean reconciliation forgiveness does not mean trust that doesn't mean you have my trust I forgive you forgiveness does not mean closeness I don't have to be around you I don't ha I I harbor no hate or resentment towards you also forgiveness is not a one-time thing it's a multiple time thing for different things and even for the same thing. Sometimes you have to forgive for the same thing over and over and over again. And when you don't know how to forgive, as long as you're willing, if you have the willingness, that is enough. That is enough. Ask, ask for assistance from whatever it is that you believe in. God, Allah, if you want to call him Jesus, the universe, the oneness of it all, 
Buddha, whatever you want to, whatever you look towards, you say, I don't know how, but I am willing to forgive. Please lead me into forgiveness. Please help me. Same for things of like ties, like soul ties, when you're trying to let go of something. Ask, ask for help. You're not here alone in this world. Please remove any soul tie that I have to this person. Whatever. Back to the video. Don't worry about smear campaigns. You know why? Because even if you're trying to slander my character, you... Is it just me? I can tell... You can kind of sense a person's character right away too like granted for example at this at this location where i'm working at okay you 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 because you're coming in as a new person you get responses and and vibrations from people da, da, da. okay you might